Um, so as one of the few veterans on the team, how much have you guys, the, the older guys on the team, talked to the freshmen about, you know, you losing your out? I mean, you guys are in the postseason now. It's just a different kind of animal, yeah. especially with a lot of these guys, again, not getting into the – but there's a, a chance that this could be the end of their college career. You yeah, to tell you no, we, about all, all the time. You know, postseason is a different type of style, a different type of game, especially with single elimination and – you know, we always remind them that we have to take a day at a time because if we don't win, we don't get the next day. There's no tomorrow. So uh, definitely staying there all the time helps them a lot, just reminding them about that. And they play great at So uh, as long as it's working, we're going to keep talking about it. So. Yeah. Uh, have you seen any changes in, in Grayson heading into his last ACC tournament and then in the ACC tournament? I, that, yeah, most definitely. I think, I think he is – He's as professional as he gets. You know, he's a, he's a great leader. Uh, he leads the team on the court and off the court uh, by talking, by action. He, he's, he's a very professional. I can, I can say that. And uh, uh, not, I didn't necessarily see that last year in him because he had a meal on that. But this year, you can really tell that uh, he's the one that's going to lead us team uh, for this week. Though, so, how big was it for you guys seeing those shots of his go in early? Today, I mean that that was one of the hottest starts. That yeah, yeah, that, that, that was that was. I mean that's huge just for just for our team, you know, to have our captain start like that and you know uh, start us off and give us like a spark, huge spark by the way. But you know we we've seen that from Grayson in practice. We know he's capable of doing that uh, night in night out. So uh, uh, we expect that from him every game. Uh, but when it happens, it, it gives us a boost, and uh, we all we're all. Well, I'm extremely excited for him because this is his last go. So, um, but to, say, to, say, to say the least, it was amazing. It was amazing seeing him get, get a start like that. After last season, you guys coming here and winning uh, four games in four days. Coming to Barclays, playing so well and winning. Uh, are you guys trying to do any of the same things that you did last year in terms of, like, superstitions or routines? You know, it's it's, it's, it's funny to ask that. You know, I, I, I'm usually the guy who always tries to keep the same thing, always. But it's so hard when you have a new team. Uh, you have a completely new team, a bunch of young guys. We lost Emil and, uh, and, uh, and Matt, who are our leaders. So uh, we, we try to approach it the same way. Uh, but, you know, every team is different, so every team has something that works for them. And uh, this team, thankfully, has a bunch of things that work for us. So uh, we have some things that we do before every game, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just going out there and uh, getting it all. So, so if, if you're a superstition guy, what's something that, that you try to do that's like a, a routine? I claim, I'm not a big, I claim seats, you know. I'm a, I, I actually, Alex and a few of my teammates, they always call me out, like, why do you always claim seats? <laughs> and I try to explain, like, listen, man, I've, I've been doing it for three years now, and you're not going to mess my routine up. So I usually claim seats uh, on the bus uh, before three games uh, when, talk, when coach is talking to us. Uh, at meals, so I'm, I'm a big like seat guy. So on a game day, I cannot not be in my seat. So is it easier now that you're older? You can be like, hey, freshman, get out of my. That's my seat. Yeah, I mean, the guys are usually. I don't have to. I don't have to be a brute or anything. I mean, you know, the the mean old guy. Uh, usually, they understand. They let me let me do my thing. So, uh, but if I do have to, I will. I will use my seniority or <laughs> juniority at this moment. So. Uh, how is ex- how exciting is it for uh, like Marvin, for example? To be able to play in an NBA arena, probably for the only time in, in his life. I mean, I can't. I mean, you probably should go ask him. I, mean, I can't tell you, but uh, <laughs> no, it, it definitely it definitely gives him like a boost. You know, he he's out there, and that's something he's worked for his whole life. You know, and now that he gets a chance to play on an NBA court, uh, he used to these like NBA games or whatever. You know, but all the stuff. It's just huge for him. So I think I think he's super excited. <laughs> Uh, for 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 you, um, you know, a guy that's a veteran, been around. You know, you're coming back next year. How cool is it to play with these guys? That are, it's know, awesome. All gonna yeah, be I, yeah, 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 no, definitely. Like, I mean, a lot of these guys are gonna be lottery picks, you know, and most, the, all of them are gonna get drafted really, and they're gonna be in the NBA at one point. So. For me, it's a great experience. You know, I get to go uh, against the best of the best in practice every day. Uh, you know, I beat them sometimes, believe it or not. <laughs> but, you know, just going against them every day in practice makes me so much better. And I know with my physicality and the stuff I know, I can I can help them out. So it's uh, it's an honor. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Cool.